that a grand kingdom ruled by an eccentric emperor. There lived a cunning weavers named Lars and Bjorn. These weavers were known far and wide for their skill in crafting the finest fabrics in all the land. But they were also known for their mischievous nature and love of trickery. One day, Lars and Bjorn hatched a plan to deceive the emperor and the entire kingdom. They claimed to have invented a fabric so extraordinary that it was invisible to anyone unworthy of their position or simple-minded. Intrigued by the prospect of owning such magnificent garments, the Emperor eagerly commissioned Lars and Bjorn to create the invisible fabric for him. Little did he know, the weavers had concocted a clever scheme to line their pockets with gold. For days, the weavers pretended to work diligently on the fabric, weaving invisible threads on their looms and exclaiming over its beauty and quality. The Emperor, anxious to see the finished product, sent his most trusted advisors to inspect the fabric. But when the advisors arrived at Lars and Bjorn's workshop, they saw nothing on the looms but empty frames. Fearing the consequences of admitting they could not see the fabric, they praised its beauty and quality, pretending to admire the invisible threads. Word spread throughout the kingdom of the extraordinary fabric, and soon the emperor himself went to see the invisible garments for himself. When Lars and Bjorn presented the emperor with the robe, he marveled at its elegance and splendor, despite seeing nothing before him. Feigning satisfaction, the emperor paraded through the streets wearing his invisible robe, believing himself to be adorned in the finest attire imaginable. The people of the kingdom, afraid of being labeled as unworthy or simple-minded, cheered and applauded the emperor's invisible finery. But as the emperor strutted through the streets, a small voice spoke out from the crowd. There was a child, innocent and unafraid, who exclaimed, but the emperor is naked. At first, a hush fell over the crowd as they realized the truth of the child's words. But soon, laughter erupted throughout the kingdom as the absurdity of the situation became clear. Embarrassed and humiliated, the emperor hurried back to his palace, his invisible robe forgotten. Lars and Bjorn, realizing their deceit had been uncovered, fled the kingdom in disgrace, leaving behind a lesson learned about the folly of pride and the importance of honesty. And though the kingdom returned to its usual routine, the tale of the emperor's invisible robes served as a reminder that true greatness lies not in the trappings of wealth or power, but in the honesty and integrity of one's character.